So I'm out here getting a few sets in. We're uh, doing an immersion. We're at this beautiful mall. Check this out. Beautiful mall. It's a bit bright today. I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, there you go. It's blue sky, but for some reason the camera's not showing it. There you go. You can get an idea of how beautiful it is. Beautiful day. But before we kick it off, I'm Dave. This channel is dedicated to giving you no BS, novel, dating advice for the modern man. Top link in the description to uh, check out the website and get some coaching with myself. It's like, it's like I ruined the light. There we go, we're back. Kind of. Might have to flip it around. Yeah, that's better. It's my camera. So. Your feelings don't matter. I guess this is more of a state topic that I wanted to talk about. Is uh, your feelings, if you let your feelings affect your ability to be switched on almost every day, it's going to limit the, your chances for meeting girls over the long period of, say, on average over the year. If you allow your feelings to uh, stop you from taking action, let me, let me put it this way. Let's just say you, uh, you only approach when you're in a good mood. And there's that one time where your, your cat died, you got fired at work, you got in an argument with your family, and, um, and there's that girl. She's there. You're in a miserable mood. You look terrible. You're in a bad mood. You're in a bad state. And you don't do the approach. You don't go talk to her. Um, or you do a little bit of a half-hearted one and you let your emotions uh, limit what you can do with your life. That could have been the girl. That could have been the love of your life, right? That could have been the one that you end up dating and marrying. Uh, and you let your feelings ruin that opportunity and so every day if you make this a lifestyle if you are in this and your goal is to get yourself a long-term girlfriend get yourself a wife uh, make this something serious you have to be switched on all the time you can't just hope that that once a week on a Saturday lunchtime when you meet up with a couple of wings from the pickup groups and you, you hit George Street, you're going to get laid and find yourself a girlfriend and that, that's going to be the perfect girl. When most of the week, the other six days of the week, you're not doing anything, you're not even switched on, you're not even, you don't even have your reticular activating system switched on and looking for the type of girl that, you're, that you want to date and possibly marry then you're going to be missing out on all of those op opportunities. And that was a topic that came up today that, you know, uh, I guess my student was talking about state and how his state was ruined early on in the morning. And um, I just had to give him that talk, talking to him, letting him know that uh, if, if, you're, if you're in a bad mood today, it's not her fault, the girl that you want to talk to. She's not involved in that. So what do we do? We take a day off because you're not in a good mood or you're not in state? We, well, if you do that, then that's one day, that's one 24-hour period that you are missing out on. That's one opportunity that you're missing out on. And so it's a pretty simplistic topic that I want to talk about today, which is state, but I think if you fully understand what I'm trying to say and you implement it, make sure that you're switched on all the time, every day, eventually you will find yourself, you'll find yourself love. <laughs> you'll find yourself the right girl. And I think a lot of you guys out there are aware that it's not easy to find the right girl. You might have to date multiple girls, which means you need to be switched on all the time to meet multiple girls and date multiple girls. 
So that's kind of the message. Your state doesn't matter. I know a lot of guys, they say, they talk about getting into state. Um, but if you're not in the mood and you restrict yourself based on your own uh, weak minded emotional state, then you're going to miss out, aren't you? And um, that is something that holds a lot of men back. But anyway. We're out of the mall, doing a few approaches. There's lots of beautiful girls around. This is a beautiful spot. If you want to come out here and improve your your love life and dating life, go to the website. Or maybe I might put it in the pinned comment, I'm not sure. Go to the website and uh, sign up to do some coaching today. I'll see you guys in the next video.